Hello, this is a tutorial um, on materials with a Linux uh, in Unreal Engine. So we'll go through how to set up uh, proper base assignments in Maya. So you can export the uh, materials from Maya and have them create uh, and assign inside of Unreal Engine when you import the Alembic. Or um, we're going to go through uh, how to create the base assignments in Maya so that when you import the Alembic into Unreal Engine, it will automatically find an existing uh, material in Unreal and go ahead and uh, automatically assign it to the uh, limit cache. Um, so first things first, here I just have in Maya, uh, here's Manny here. Uh, I just have a few uh, material assignments here with them. So just select things, see. Uh, so one thing that I wanted to bring up is um, in the docs here, if you were to go and look for the Alembic file importer, you go down here, it says that you want to enable uh, UV write and face sets. So it says you will need to be able, to, you will need to enable write face sets if you plan on creating materials during uh, import process in Unreal Engine. Oh, Unreal Engine 4, that should be probably in 5.0. I'll say the same thing. Still says Unreal Engine 4, that's funny, anyways. Um, so if we just grab this guy and then we go to Alembic and then export selection and then uh, let's start getting folder here. So uh, UV write and face sets is enabled. So we're just gonna do there. And then if we bring this guy into Unreal here. Uh, what you want to do is there's find materials and create materials. We'll go over uh, find materials later, but what, what you want to do is you, you want to click create materials. Now, this is not going to work, and I'll go back and I'll explain why it's not going to work. So if you hit import, you'll just see that just Manny imported into Unreal, and, it, and you know, everything's just assigned to the world grid material. Um, so the key here on why this didn't work is because of this, these face sets right here. When you assign materials on the object level, like the DAG level or object level in Maya, it will not create a face set. What you need to do to create a uh, face set assignment is to assign materials uh, on the face level or the um, on, on the po polygon level or the component level. Um, now, you know, those of you who have been around as long as I have, this used to be a big no-no, uh, but for Alembics and Unreal Engine, um, this is just how you have to do it. So if we were to go, so what I'm going to show you here is a big gotcha that people run into, uh, but I'll just let us run into it organically. So, you know, if you wanted to fix this, you just go, okay, here, legs, here. And then, uh, okay, well, here's my arms, right? Arms, head, head, okay, whatever. You get the idea, okay? So now everything, like those three or four materials are assigned on the face level. So now if we were to go here, we were to cache, select, many face level. And let's make sure we've got UV right and face sets. Export. So now let's go back into Unreal here. Let's delete this guy. And then we're going to bring Manny face level in here. Just to upgrade materials, click import. Okay, didn't work. Why? So the, the gotcha here is. If you have a material assigned on the object level, and then you were to just go here, select the faces, and assign the same material again on the poly level, Maya is not going to create a face set. I don't know why, but Maya does not create a face set when the same material is applied on the object level uh, as in the face level. So if you like, let's just let's just create. 
just a dummy material here. Grab this, move it. Grab everything. Come on. And assign it. Now if we go here, select the head, and uh, where's our head? Assign the head. Great. So now let's take you. So what I did is I, on the object level, I assigned just a dummy material, and then I grabbed the polygon faces of the head and assigned it to the head material. Export selection. Uh, many. Head. Let's go back in the UV here. Oh, there we go. Delete. Head. Create materials. Now you see the head is in here. And if you go and you look on the asset, the head is created. All right, the head is the head material is assigned to the proper material slot uh, in Unreal Engine. So that's the big gotcha. Like this took me longer than I cared to admit to actually figure out what was happening. Um, so yeah, and then Another thing to note is that the material inside of Unreal Engine that it will create, it, it's created uh, uh, named off of the shading group. So it cares about the shading group name, not the actual um, shader name or material name. Like this is what names the, the face that's coming out of Maya, not this. Um, so, so that's one thing. So, that, so that's creating materials inside of UE and then having them automatically assigned. So if if we went like that, you know, I don't think we gotta waste time and do all these guys, but just what's going on? So it's hands and then uh feet. Just to show you that it works. And then uh, torso. Okay, so now if we were to grab this guy, Isaac, and then Manny, proper, back in UE, make proper. Create materials, and it created them all, and it assigned them all. Uh, you'll also notice that um, Unreal Engine is not going to bring over like your whole shading network. All those nodes uh, aren't supported. Um, 5.1 will start getting into like Material X and things like that. I mean, you know, it, we'll start to be able to uh, play around and, and mess with that sort of functionality. Um, but for right now, that sort of stuff. Um, is not supported. So it's, you know, it's just a head start on getting you to uh, be able to create your materials. Now, let's say that there are already materials inside of Unreal Engine. Like, let's say you've got, you know, just kind of canned um, Uber materials that are in here, or it's the same version of a new character, or the same character, it's just a new version or updated one. And you, and you wanted to automatically assign to uh, materials that are already in Unreal Engine. Um, so that is easy enough. Uh, so basically, let's just take like M glass and M mirror. Uh, so I touched on, it cares about the shading group name. So M mirror and then M glass. And then uh, I think it was, one of them was like M plastic. Plastic. So now let's blow the rest of these guys away. And then, uh, and Great. So, same process, just export out. Um, let's grab any. Back in Unreal Engine, 
So let's go here, spring and mini. Where are you mini? Mini existing. Now here, the thing you want to change is to put it to find materials. Uh, I wish Unreal Engine was smart enough where you could just have those, both of those en enabled and basically the import logic is smart enough to go in your project and try and find materials. And if it finds a material, go ahead and uh, automatically assign that to the material slot. And ones that it can't find, go ahead, uh, you know, go ahead and create those materials. Uh, at this point in 503, um, the logic's not smart enough to do that. It'll just try and find materials, and if it can't find the materials, it'll just stop and it won't create them. So at, at this point, it's just one or the other. Um, we've I've put in a bug report um, to hopefully be able to get that fixed, but as of right now, it's not fixed. So just a note to do one or the other. Uh, anyway, so just do click on find materials now, import, and you'll see Manny comes in, and he's assigned to M glass and mirror and plastic. And to note, you don't have to have the materials in the same folder that you're importing in your asset. It could be you know anywhere in your project. So it'll 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 just look for the particular names in your project and go ahead and automatically uh, assign them to your object. Um, and that's that's it. That's you know hopefully that makes working with uh, Limbix a little easier in the engine. Um, it could be you know a little weird, a little confusing, especially with the face sets, and then on top of that, especially with that little gotcha uh, there in Maya. Um, but if you have any more questions or yeah, you know things are still confusing or not working for you, feel free to drop a comment, drop me a line. Uh, yeah, have a great one.